this is actually working. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's live. There we go. Just a quick short stream. I'm not going to be too long. Close that window. Close some windows on the side. <clears throat> Just going to quickly take a look at sliders, making a slider. Yeah, there's lots of ways to do it. There's tutorials already. Um, let's, let's get a new window. And twos. Uh, and then we go training, tutorials, oh, tutorials, so training, tutorials, if you scroll right to the bottom, somewhere, did see it, yeah, how to build sliders, it's quite good, you can watch this if you want, but I'll just show you how. Same thing. So grab an axis. I'm gonna, use, I'm gonna use a rectangle to build the the bar that we're traveling across. So I'm just gonna edit the input and output. So I'm gonna change the properties of the rectangle. Change the width. Let's round it to 30. The height to 0.5, maybe 0.2. Two. No, that'll do. We can make this look better with textures. <clears throat> so we need the object to slide. So this is our bar, and we need an object to slide. So we need another axis, and I'm going to grab a hmm, yeah, a circle. It gives us a few options. So we've got the circle. Now right now I'm not able to click on it, drag it or do anything. So I need to go to my, the interaction tab. Interaction, where are you? There you are. Let me make this window bigger. And we have a few options. We've got touch and transformation, touch translation, touch rotation. Uh, you've got quite a few options. Uh, Let's use the touch translation. I'm just going to drop it in front of the axis. Uh, now, allows me to interact with it. Um, there's no locks, nothing's locked, no limits. I can throw that away and it's gone. Uh, so if I hit reset, it'll come back to its default position, which is zero. You can see here, it's a zero. Um, so for me to set a limit of on the screen, so I can say, okay, turn the limit on. Now it's locked one by one, so it can't go any further than that. We don't want it to move in the Y, so we're just going to zero that out. So now we can only go in the X direction, on the X. Uh, so if I increase this, my minimum X, that's it. Like this. Oh, maybe too much. There we go. I'm going to say minus 14. So minus 14. So if this is minus 14, then the other way should be 14. 14. Because this is 0, minus 14, 14. And you can see it here in the output. As I drag the bar, you can see the, the current position of uh, this circle. Zero in the middle. Simple, quick little slider. What can you do with the slider? You can do quite a few things. You want to control an object or display the value. Uh, you can easily do that. So, what we can do is grab an axis. A cube. Let's say we want this cube to rotate um, as we drag the bar. So let's check this. So we want to control the y axis. So what we can do is select our axis for the cube. 
and the touch translation trans the yeah, translation and we grab the y axis and we drop it onto the x so now so drag it you can see it only rotates minus 14 to 14 so what we'll need is a clipping node so if you go to your logic tab and you go under if i believe it's maths effects and uh, this maths maths and then we look for the clipping node clipping node is really useful now drag this and drop it in between boom clipping so we know our input uh, so our input is coming from the touch translation to clipper so we know that's minus 14 to 14 and we want to output a 0 to 360 rotation so 0 to 360 so we're converting this value and outputting this value and you can see here now drag 360 and you can see the cube itself really simple Touch translation, you have a few options as well in here. If you click on the touch translation node, you've got this button called edit behavior. Here, you can add tick spaces if you wanted. So if I just put a uh, two for now, you'll see it got tick space, it locks. You can experiment with the behaviors, the uh, how bouncy it is, the acceleration. Um, I'm not going to go too much into that. I just want to, it's just a really short tutorial. Really, really short. So we've got our cube spinning. Let's say we want to display a value as well. So I'm going to add an axis, text 3D, and choose block text. And I'm just going to position this here, make it really big so we can see it. And I'm going to just say center the text alignment, center center, like so. So now the same way we connected the uh, axis to the uh, touch translation, we need to connect our text. So what we can do is we can grab the text, bam, X. There you go. Now it's displaying again the same zero minus fourteen to fourteen. So we can put a clipper in between, clipping node. So we get a clipping node. Drop that on. Now I'm putting minus fourteen to fourteen. And our output will be say 0 to 360 for the cube. There we go. Now you can see it's, dis it's just displaying uh, all the floats as well. You could do, you could use a convert to text if you want. Or, so convert to text. And you could place this in between. I think it's this one here, over here. And uh, like that. And you can just put a uh, 0 this zero there we go you can see don't know if, if you can see this on screen or not so in convert to text you could do that or there's another way you can use you can drop an integer in between so it does the same it just converts it just takes this the value and just rounds it up using the integer node right so it doesn't display floats float it's really up to you there's just an example what you can do so let's make this a little bit more interesting so the circle before i change the tessellation on that boom Got a little triangle or hole in it if I want. Um, I'm going to drop a texture on that rectangle. 
So I'm going to just drop a color in there. Okay, let's, let's quickly go for this. So I've got this texture already prepared. Uh, it's just a square. It's nothing. Uh, so you can see it's just a square, white square. I'm going to save this as a DDS texture. Copy, so desktop, DDS. Uh, I don't know what I call it. Tab one or something. I just call it anything. You can call it what you want. Uh, hit OK. Save it. So we go. I'm gonna load that texture in. Texture alpha. My desktop. I think I called it like tab one. Open. There you go. That doesn't look too bad. It's just stretching the texture. It's fading it out. Um, you can play around again with the mapping. So if I go around here into the UV mapping, and I will change the clamp to wrap. And I'll just quickly go here, 2D mapping, UV work, and just change the scaling. I can have a dashed light, dashed dotted line or dashes just by wrapping the texture. Okay, so that's one way of doing that. What if I wanted the slider to go up vertically? I could change, I could edit this and from what's it the change the x and just edit the y or i could get an axis like so put these under here and rotate 90 scale this down so it fits on the screen there we go so you could do it like that or you could edit the values here and edit your limits so you could zero out the the x eh, same thing still gives you an output and you're converting it anyway uh well, if i want to go in a circle i want this to go around how do i do that so let's push this aside and let's make a get a new axis and i'm gonna grab circle and I'm going to scale this up I'm going to just let me turn off these graphics here so I'll just ignore what we, we ignore the last one we just build another slider so we've got this circle and we want to do a touch translation around this circle so let's put a hole in there okay. something like this and I'm going to get another axis and I'm going to get another circle like this and I want this circle to go around this circle let me drag in it so I'm going to go into my interaction tab and I'm going to look for where is it touch rotation there we go, touch rotation, I'll just place it in front right now I'm just rotating it on its axis, sorry so, it's just okay so, if I click on, is this the right way I'm not doing it? I don't know, we'll see not 100% sure, but I'm sure but I believe, if I do Change the x axis there and rotates on the circle. So I just changed off is changing the offset of the axis. Um, so what we can do is add a texture to this. So if we do add a dotted texture, so I'll just copy this material down onto here. Boom. And looks incorrect right now. So to fix that, you can just click on the circle, click here on texture, and turn this to wrap. There we go. If you want, you can go in here and adjust the mapping so you can make it more thinner. Sure, I'll add more or less. Uh, or maybe just make the hole smaller. Uh, 
Here we go. So here doesn't look correct, so I can just adjust the exposition. It looks more centered. There we go. And again, I could take this rotation if I get another cube. So I'll grab, grab an axis and a cube. And we just scale this up. So as we rotate this, we want this to rotate. So I can select the axis for the cube, this axis, and I'll select the touch rotation, and I'll link the two together. Uh, angle. You can see here it's rotating. My value output, you can see here, is like one thousand five hundred and something, and that's coming from the angle here. So in the input mapping, you've got some options. Um, you can turn off the where it says wrap, where it says none. You can do I think it was unsigned, and that would be zero to three sixty. So it it won't be like it won't keep on adding to the value of the number of rotation. So if you just want it zero to three sixty, you can just change it here. You don't need a clipping node for doing the zero to three sixty. If you want to clip it, if you want uh say we get axis, you say and text block text and let's just move it to the side like this oh it's 3d wow i just got 3d saved okay so we've got 3d text there so we can take the text and we can link that to here the angle and if i said the clipping node I said okay 0 to 360 but I want 0 to 100 and I could do that so now it's 0 to 100 so we can find the start there we go oh, 99 it jumps okay to 100 but it's there um so you could do it that way or you could do it so Oh, let's add the integer in between. Boom. Yeah. So you can edit it like that. Or if you just want uh, 0 to 360, 360. There we go. And show you the angle. Current angle is at. That's quite cool. Really simple. You can build sliders. I'm just going to quickly group these. Uh, group that one, put these graphics together, and I'll use another axis just so I can move this and scale it. So I'll move this, uh, shift it to the right. Let's unblock these, the first one we made, and let's just position these. Yeah, so we've got, we've got the vertical slider, or you can make it horizontal, and we've got a circle slider. So you can experiment, try the different nodes, see what sliders you can make. They're really useful, very useful to the interactive um, plugins, the interaction plugins. Save you a lot of time. Cool. I hope you enjoyed that short tutorial and if it was useful to anybody, but have a good night. Cheers later.